Hello, my name is uh, Bernd Seckmann. I'm the director of the Center for Microscopy and Imaging. And today I would like to show you the E-beam lithography system, which you'll see in the background. An electron beam lithography system is a device that is used to write small patterns on top of surfaces. The best way to understand this instrument is to think about a flashlight that moves a light beam across a surface, for example, a white wall. But instead of light, the electron beam lithography system moves an electron beam across a surface and writes invisible patterns on top of the material. After developing the material, the patterns become visible. These patterns can be very small, sometimes 10,000 times smaller than the width of a hair. These patterns can be used for many different applications. For example, they can be used to produce tiny optical devices or to improve the pathways data move on microchips or to improve the water resistance of surfaces. The E-beam lithography system is a research tool. With this tool, these patterns can be developed and tested before they move into mass production. Most E-beam lithography systems are located in a clean room in order to avoid contaminations of the final product. In order to enter a clean room, we have to dress up in a clean room suit to make sure that we don't contaminate the room with our dirty clothes. On top of the E-beam lithography system is the electron source, which produces the electron beam. As electrons are negatively charged, they can be bent, shaped and focused with positively charged magnets, which are aligned around the column. These electromagnetic lenses shape the electrons into a beam, they focus the beam on top of the sample, and these magnets also move the beam across the sample, which is how the E-beam lithography system writes patterns on top of surfaces. The most commonly used test material is a silicon wafer, so basically a glass slide covered with chemicals such as BMMA, which is also called a resist. Areas exposed to the electron beam are burned away and after developing and washing the resist with isopropanol and other alcohols, these exposed areas are washed away and the patterns become visible. To start the process, the silicon wafers are inserted into a sample holder, which is then inserted into the microscope. After the loading and alignment procedure, previously designed patterns are exposed on the wafer. Then the sample is taken out of the equipment and developed in isopropanol and other alcohols. To image the patterns, the sample is inserted into the microscope again and an image is taken with the scanning electron microscope. The scanning electron microscope basically uses the electron beam to image the surface of the material and then you can see the structures that we just milled with the e-beam lithography system.